<clears throat> All right, so I've never done a product review. I've also never done a video in this room. It sounds to me like it's gonna be really bad on echoes. Sooner or later, this is gonna be like my little YouTube office. It's just not, not set up yet. But today's gonna be, I just got this in the mail. It is uh, Wolf's Collars and Leads. So I figured we'd open it on video and put it on the dog and see how everything goes with it. I will link their website <coughs> in the bio in case you want to go get one. Came from Brooksville, Florida. So I got one collar and one lead, tree lead. I got a wide collar because she is so small. It scares me whenever we, you know, the raccoon out. But <clears throat> they are running a deal right now on Wolf's collars and leads for if you buy a collar, you get your nameplate on there free. So <clears throat> I'm not going to show you my phone number. But it says Arrow, my phone number, and then my name. I don't know if they always do that or if it's just a promotional deal. But this collar was like $10 on there. And then I got a tree lead, same color. It was also like $10. I think it was $32 after shipping and tax and everything. So, I mean, super cheap. First impressions, I like it. I like the extra wide collar. These things go down, I think they said 22 all the way down to 11 inches. So, I mean, you can put this on a really small pup all the way up to I think this was 26, it may have been 24 inches. All the way up to something like Orca in the backyard. <clears throat> but I like it. I like the hot pink. I like the big loop. Sometimes it is hard to get the small loops. The small loops will fold down and when you're in a hurry, it's kind of hard to get them clicked. So far, I mean, I like it, but Let's go try it on Arrow, see how she likes it. I don't know how well I'm gonna get her to cooperate, but she's got one of these just cheap little, I got it from a uh, local farm and supply store. It's done good enough, but we need something a little extra, don't we? And Arrow is a Walker mix. I am planning on buying a DNA test pretty soon to get exact what she is. I bought her as a um, Kerr and Feist mix. And then when he sent me the pictures, I thought to myself, yeah, she's got, she's got a lot of Walker in her. So I went and picked her up and she has been great for a puppy. Let's see. Oh, I see what you're staring at. She's staring at my coyote decoy. <laughs> Here, wait. So, and she is a little small. She's only about six, maybe seven months now. We're gonna have to cut a little bit of the tag end off, maybe. Actually, no, we're not. Just fold it back over like that. And with collars, I've always heard the normal rule is two fingers. But with the nameplate, it's kind of flat right there, which I'm sure I can bend it out. Actually, yeah, I just did. But 
I just like to put them on there until they'll move up and down freely, but they won't go over her head. Just in case something happens in the woods and I really need to drag her off of something or drag her in one way or another. Sounds harsh, but we all know it happens. So hang on. We'll put the matching lead on there. If she'll quit licking me in the face. Calm down. I mean, it does pretty good in a bedroom at least. I think it'll be perfectly fine, but I really enjoy it. It's a really nice one. All right, I'll let you play with the coyote decoy now. Here. <laughs> yeah, wolves, collars, and leads. I believe the website is wolfscollarsandleads.com, but wolf is spelled W-O-L-F-E. Check them out. I will leave. <laughs> I will leave their uh, website in the bio. If you would. Please like, share, and subscribe. I know it's a smaller video. It's a newer video for me. I've never done anything like this, but yeah. Always time for something new. Man, you can see that pink really good. Arrow. I probably will cut some of that lead off once she gets full grown. Or I may do it now and then buy another one once she gets full grown, but I like it. Looks really good.